Okay, welcome to this first video. Uh, the first step of building this guitar will be to make some molds because uh, I will be uh, using the outside molds for the for the body of the guitar, and I will be making those molds out of a three quarter MDF right here. I have two boards like that, which are uh, two by four feet. Uh, it should be enough to make uh, two molds because, like I said, I will be making two guitars. Uh, one with the, the cutaway here and another one uh, with just more standard shape. So uh, those are the templates I already cut. And here is another one that I just cut in half, uh, split in the middle to, to use as template for uh, sawing the, cutting the, the, the template out of those MDF. So I will be uh, cutting the templates in the MDF on the bandsaw and uh, actually just cutting the first one and using the rudder with the uh, a flush or a trim bit, I, I, I don't remember how it's called, to uh, to just cut the others. I will cut all the others in the bandsaw, but uh, maybe a, a quarter inch uh, uh, larger than, than the actual mark and just uh, flush cut it on the, on the rudder so they are all exactly the same. So let's get started.
colors, as you can see. So I do have both my molds, uh, like I said in the beginning, uh, one with the standard shape and the other one with the cutaway. And uh, I did, I, of course, I could have made only one mold and uh, use it uh, one after the other and just made a little thingy for, for the cutaway. But uh, I wanted to, to be able to, to build board guitars at the same time and do uh, every step uh, simultaneously. So uh, I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but we will see down the road. So here are my molds. So uh, for the cutaway part, I did not build an actual spreader because uh, there will be uh, the eel block here that would prevent the, the spreader to, to be one part. But I, I did build those two parts and all my spreaders, by the way, are, have this lining of, uh, of cork which will prevent from uh, uh, damaging the, the sides while, while uh, I will be uh, uh, holding the sides. So uh, all the spreaders are, are like that and uh, the other ones are, you can just remove those by you know, turning this fold like that. So, and the mold itself, once re you remove all the spreaders, uh, is actually two parts. So you can just unclean this here and here and the mold separates. So in the early stages, uh, at first, when I will bend the sides, I will be able to, to hold the sides on each uh, half of the, of the mold uh, before actually cutting the sides so I can fit the, the old shape uh, into the mold so I can uh, then attach the, the blocks. So, uh, and as you can see, to, to help with uh, lining the molds to make sure that they are always at the same spot, I did use the, this little dowel here, which is a trick that I, I picked up from uh, Eric Schaefer online. Uh, Eric Schaefer Guitar does a lot of, uh, of building videos. I, I, the guy is actually awesome, just, just checks his videos. I, I will put a link uh, down below to his videos. So that's it. Both of my molds are now ready. And uh, the next step will be uh, preparing the sides and then bending the sides to, uh, to, to be able to clamp the sides to the mold for the, the following parts of the build. So stay tuned for the next video.